Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you this makeup look for the cold weather. It's natural and pretty minimal, and it's also great for those really cold winter days. So quick intro for those of you who are new here. I'm Susan and welcome to my channel. I make videos about beauty, so talking about my favorite products and also some makeup tutorials. Would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Susan Makes It Up and that will also be linked down in the description box along with all of the products I use in this makeup tutorial. Now without further ado, let's jump into the makeup look. So first we're gonna prime with a couple of layers of really good skincare, and this is really, really important, especially in the winter, because your skin does get really dry. So you really need to add in a lot of hydration and also moisturize to lock it in. So first I'm using an essence, which is the Primera Miracle Seed Essence, and this is just a really nice light texture. So it's kind of like watery as you can see and it's not sticky and just adds a really good base of moisture. So for moisturizer, I'm using my favorite moisturizer of the moment, which is the Essential Firming Cream. And this one just has like a really nice comforting scent. It is the arrowroot and also has a really good thicker consistency. So really good for just addressing all of those dry patches and leaving your skin feeling really soft and supple. And finally, I went in with the Elta MD UV Clear Sunscreen. So this one is a really good physical sunscreen. So it's not going to be irritating to those with sensitive skin. And it's also really good underneath makeup because I find that it doesn't really leave a white cast and it also is pretty moisturizing and acts like a good base. So for the base, I really like the It Cosmetics your skin but better CC cream for the winter months because it's a little bit on the thicker side you can kind of see the consistency here and it has pretty good coverage as well and if you have any dry patches this really won't emphasize it too much and you can see that it has pretty good coverage um, it also has hyaluronic acid which will help draw in moisture so keep your skin hydrated throughout the day so next we're going to use one of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks in mocha and we're gonna just use this to add a little bit more warmth and definition back into the skin. So just typically where I would put my contour or bronzer, and this is just super easy because it's a stick form. And really for the rest of the face products, I'm sticking to cream or liquid products. And the reason why I particularly like cream and liquid products for winter is because they're not gonna emphasize any dry patches like a powder would. So then just using a brush to kind of buff it out lightly. And then for blush, I'm using a liquid blush from Glossier. This is the Cloud Paint in Dusk. And it's just a nude pink color and I'm going directly onto my face with my fingers and blending that out. And then for the highlight, we're doing a just very natural glow. This is a very lit from within look. So this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm in the shade to light. I'm just taking this and dabbing this on to the high points of my face. And then for eyes, we're going for a pretty minimal look. So using the Dior Five Colors Couture Palette in the shade Soft Cashmere. So this is what it looks like. And we're gonna go in with just like a light brown shade and then just add a little bit of shimmer on top. So really just taking a fluffy blending brush and then going in with this light brown shade and then putting a wash of color. Then I'm gonna go in with this top taupey shade and then just putting on my finger and tapping that on.
taking this, blending it out, making sure there's no harsh edges, and then curling my lashes. And today I'm gonna be using the Monster Big mascara just for some volume. Since we did go pretty minimal on the eyes, I wanna make sure that I play up the lashes. Okay, so now moving on to lips. I'm gonna line my lips with the Makeup Forever liner in Anywhere Caffeine. And I'm actually gonna fill in the rest of my lips with the liner as well. And this is just gonna act as a really nice base throughout the day. And then I'm going in with two different lip products. So first is a little lip balm from Fresh. So this is in the shade Honey, which is just like a really nice nude color. And this will just keep in moisture. And then layering on top of that, the Tower 28 Gloss, which is super hydrating, really moisturizing formula. And this is in the shade Cashew. And the reason why we're doing this is because layering products like this will really help keep the moisture in. And also, once the gloss wears away, it's gonna be really easy just to reapply the balm. This is just a really pretty nude, kind of like a matte finish as well. And then we're going to go in with this gloss. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. As you can see, it was pretty simple and also really hydrating. So it's good for those days where your skin is feeling a little tight, a little dry, and you don't want to put too much makeup on. So these are really great products that will help your skin stay moisturized throughout the day and also pull together your look for a very natural and effortless type of makeup. As always, thank you so much for your support and for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!